Good morning all of you. Today we are going to start with our 7th class physics with chapter number 1 named Physical Quantities and Measurement. In this chapter we are going to start with the topics Measurement of Volume, Measurement of Area, Measurement of Density of Regular Solids and the last is Calculation of Speed. For starting Measurement of volume, firstly we should know what is 3 dimension. 3 dimension means 3, 3D. 3D means 3 dimensional. For example, if you want to find the position of any bird flying in the sky and want to point the position, you can find out graphically through this method. For example, let the bird is flying in sky at position A. It is along the road that is X. O X is the road. O Y is any pole on the road. And O Z be taken as the shadow of that pole. So we have three dimensions now. It means three coordinates. First is O X along the road. Second is O Y that is electric pole which is fixed on the road. Third is the shadow of this pole that is known as Z axis. So let the bird is flying at position A. If we want to find the position of the bird, it is 3 meters away from point O along the road, 2 meters above the road towards the electric pole and in the third dimension, towards the shadow of the pole, it is 2 meter. So, it has 3 coordinates. That is, along x-axis, it is 3. Along y-axis, it is 2 meter. And along z-axis, it is 2 meters. So, the position of that bird is 3, 2, 2. We are having 3 coordinates, x, y, z. Hence, we will tell this as 3 dimensionals or 3D space. With this, we can find the position of any point in space. Now come to volume. What is volume? Volume is also defined as 3D space occupied by the substance. What is 3D now? Here, three things are there. Three dimensions are there. One is length, breadth and third is height. For example, you have already seen such type of boxes at your house which are already having length, breadth and the third side that is height. If we multiply length, breadth and height of these three of this box, we will find the volume. So, the formula of finding volume is length into breadth into height we can have the example of a brick example of a shoe box example of a table of almira so all these are having three dimension even our room is also having three dimension so this is the volume product of length breadth and height it is also three dimensional space occupied by the substance now our next if we are going to find the volume of some liquid, how we are going to find this? It can help. We can get it with the help of some containers or the cylinders. For example, such type of bottle or feeder you have already seen at your home. Or you can have seen this type of containers above the medicinal uh, syrup bottles on which... It is already mentioned the value of the volume in ml. Liquid volume is measured in units milliliter or liter. So it is mentioned here 2.5 ml, 5 ml, 10 ml. It means if you fill this cap till this level or this line, it is filled up to 2.5 ml or having volume of 2.5 ml. If the second line is the level then it is filled 5, 5 ml and if it is filled till the third it is 10 ml. Similarly if we are having the feeder 
we can see these readings over this these readings are helpful to fill the milk in the bottle according to the volume of the milk whatever volume we want we can fill according to this measurements so this is known as graduated cylinder or you can also call it as measuring cylinder these cylinders are used in scientific laboratories for measuring different type of liquids in different 